previously on the Derek Smart Saga. Yeah, and this is the thing. Derek Smart is a game developer. He owns a company. He knows how this works. I don't know what the fuck this is. It said it was first person shooter. Hey, there's another guy. He's going up and down. He's got red. He's a bad one. He's a bad one. Because the whole early access thing has taken a, a, a huge uh, hit since a lot of projects went under, some did not deliver, some were just scams. Since July to now, pretty much every single thing I've said is precisely what has occurred. Even if this was a Derek Smart echo chamber and that kind of shit, it doesn't make him any less right. Oh, yeah. How is he wrong? His, 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 wrong. His his thing, guy. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. This piece of shit 2.0 we've now released prematurely to meet Derek Smart's deadline because, oh, he may just sue us. I don't believe, you know, until I see concrete evidence, I'm not going to say anything related to them doing anything fraudulent. Fraudulent or, uh, 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 you know, a uh, um, Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme or, I mean, yeah, we all make jokes. We all, I mean, it looks that way, but I don't have anything, any concrete evidence or nobody said anything to me or showed me anything, give me any indication that this is a, is designed to be a Ponzi scheme or a laundry scheme or whatever. What's happening factually on how they're doing these JPEG ships in a Ponzi-like scheme and how they're, they're selling these ships for, that have not yet been built for a game that is not finished, which has all the makings of a scam. I stand by those statements. This game, as pitched, will never get built. You're all going to lose your money. These are the people we're dealing with. These people are not good people. These people are not good people. These people don't deserve to have this money. They don't deserve to be doing this. They are not good people. Okay? And this project will fail. When it fails, all this money will be lost. And there will be nothing anybody can do other than the federal government going after them. These people are not good people. It's as simple as that. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, again, this is not intended to disparage the excellent engineers over there. Uh, this is a little bit strange, isn't it? Zin Clan says, question, uh, isn't selling JPEG ships the same as selling TAC tiers that include uh, equipment that are not in game yet either? No, he's talking about line of defense. Here's a, here's a difference with that. Line of defense started out, you got, those, those items are bundles. You don't need them to play the game. The game is free to play. The game is free to play. You got, those, those items are bundles. You don't need them to play the game. Now, who on earth would be selling a JPEG of a ship that's not in a game, for a ge that's not yet built for a game that doesn't exist? Knowing fully well that the risks of that game never existing, who wouldn't call that a scam? Lord MMO, there is no way you can know exactly when the game will be finished, that the game will be finished. Who wouldn't call that a scam? Our game, the tiers are basically in-game items. You, if you have a tier right now, you can go into the game, you have the weapons available. The items that are not available are not tangible because they're not sold separately. It just means you buy a tier, if you want this weapon, you have it. If you want this, you know, this particular item, it's there. If it's not there, it is enabled, but you just can't use it. That's the difference. So these like are more like, these are more like, the, the, our model is more like in-game micro transactions when it when it comes down to it i know what i'm talking about i don't just get on a pedestal and talk shit okay i know my gaming i've done this before i've done it many many times i know how the industry works i know a lot of people You're serious i know a lot of people i mean if i scrap the engine tomorrow i'm back at square one how hard is that what difference does it make it's early access there's no need for it to um to put a hard date early 2020 i don't know maybe who knows who cares
you know, I had never paid any attention to Star Citizen before July. I funded it, like everybody, like most of us, like 30,000 of us back in, you know, in, in November 2012. And knowing how long it would take to build such a game, I didn't follow it. I backed this project from day one, simply because being a fan of Chris Roberts, being a game developer and being a fan of the previous games, this is something I really wanted them to build. Being a fan of Chris Roberts, Roberts, being a game developer and being a fan of the previous games. Being a fan of Chris Roberts, being a game developer and being a fan of the previous games. I have nothing against the company. I have nothing against the talented individuals who work there. Listen, the thing about it is it's about being measured. You know, a lot of people can say something at 8, 8 a.m. and forget what they said at 9 a.m. I'm not one of those people. I'm very thoughtful. My mind, I'm, a, I'm an AI programmer. I'm a programmer. I design things. So my thought is always structured. The problem is sometimes when you are trying to uh, uh, articulate a point, okay, you get to the point where you think.